and we're back with another video today um, I am going to be announcing something that the people on my discord server already know I am making a new scrap mechanic computer and unlike with the last few computers I'm going to be sharing on this YouTube channel the exact development process now sorry to bring the bad news but the most important and complex part of the development process has already been done and that is designing the entire computer you can pause the video and look at all this amazing work I've done um, so basically I've in a spreadsheet everything that I need to construct um, on some standards for different colors that I'm going to be using through the entire computer so I don't confuse myself uh, and I've already been writing out a few uh, things about the components that I've already built before I s decided that I wanted to record this entire process. So let me now show you the address module. So the computer I'm going to be building is going to be, it will have an 8-bit ALU, but the address bus will be 16-bit. So it will be able to address 64,000 roughly uh, bytes of memory and this is a lot which is going to be hopefully making this computer a bit more capable than my previous computers so this module has uh, only one purpose and that is to make sure that the address being outputted is something useful to make sure that the, the computer is going to be getting the data from the address that it needs so there's three different things that the address should be able to output one is the uh, current program counter which is the address specifying the line of code being uh, executed currently the second thing is the stack this computer will have a stack and this will be located in the normal ram it will be a descending open stack convention uh, you can go look that up if you're interested um, and there's going to be some uh, customizable uh, stuff, or maybe not really customizable, but uh, these are going to be a high on the low part, uh, will be split into single bytes. And this will make sure that uh, you can actually uh, request a custom address to be read. This can be handy if you want to read something out of RAM to do a mathematical operation on it and then write it back to RAM later. So all these blue gates, these are going to be things that the uh, uh, decoded program will be triggering. So here we can uh, select the the different uh, types of addresses to be loaded. Here we can uh, increment and decrement the stack counter. It, it looks like it's very high, but this is a descending stack. So it starts at 255 and then it goes down as you add values to the stack. Um, and we also have a normal program counter, so we can load a value here. I don't have a value here, so it's just going to reset to zero and you can increment it. You can even hold it down to increment it quickly, though that shouldn't happen. The computer will be giving one tick pulses to all these uh, gates. Um, so yeah, that's about it. It's uh, one of the simpler parts of the computer, but one that will be performing a very important task. So it's all uh, extra memory, very quick. Um, wiring the, the, the counters was a pain. Like the amount of wires you have to make grows exponentially. So don't make 16-bit counters, like find one from the workshop or maybe use a group in Um I might provide a blueprint if you ask for it. If you do want a blueprint, give, leave a comment, subscribe, go to the Discord server, bye.